We're making a chicken stir fry. All of the ingredients, they're easy, they're cheap, and we can have it made within about 30 minutes. Let's get straight into it. The ingredients we're going to need for this is one brown or yellow onion, one red bell pepper or capsicum, a bunch of tender stem broccoli, two spring onions or scallions, one red chili, which is optional, four garlic cloves, and 20 grams of ginger. With the onion, we can slice off both ends, slice it in half and then peel it, and then just cut these up into thin strips on the half moon position. As for the bell pepper, many people slice this different ways. I like to slice it in half and then just pick out that core and any pith. Just give it a little bang on the bench to remove any seeds. Then we can slice it in half to make it a little bit easier to work with and just slice these into thin, even strips. Now with the spring onion or scallion, we're going to separate the white root from the green stem. And with the white root, we're going to slice these into nine inch pieces or so I've been told. Then with the green stem, we're just going to thinly slice the whole way across and we're going to use this as a garnish. The tender stem broccoli can have its ends removed if they are a little bit woody, but other than that, just roughly chop into nice large pieces. And then if you're using the chili, which is optional, just thinly slice the whole way across and we're going to use this at the end. The garlic and ginger can both be peeled and ran along a microplane to create a paste. And if you didn't know, the best way to peel ginger is actually to use a spoon. It just reduces a lot of waste and you can mix both of these together because they're going into the sauce at the same time. Now last but not least for cutting things up, I've got 400 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. I'm just slicing these into thin even sized strips, that way they'll cook at the same rate. These can then be popped aside and placed in the fridge or whatever you need to do. Then we're going to make the sauce by adding in one quarter of a cup of chicken stock to a bowl, one quarter of a cup of light soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil, toasted or untoasted. I ended up using toasted for this recipe. We can then add in the garlic and ginger paste. One and a half tablespoons of honey. Just make sure you scrape it all in there because it is the good stuff. Then to thicken it, we're going to be using one and a half tablespoons of corn flour or starch. This is just going to react with the heat and really thicken up our sauce, along with a little bit of ground white pepper to taste. This can then be whisked together just to combine all the ingredients. Make sure there's no lumps from the corn flour or starch and then just pop it aside for the time being. Place a large saucepan over a high heat. We're going to add in 200 grams of washed jasmine rice, along with 375 milliliters of cold water, pinch of salt to taste, then just bring this up to a boil. Make sure you give this a mix around to prevent any clumps. And then once it is at a boil, just reduce the heat to low, place on a lid, and we're going to cook this for 12 minutes without lifting the lid off. Whilst the rice is doing its thing, we can place a large wok over a high heat. We're going to get this nice and hot, add in one and a half tablespoons of peanut oil, allowing it to slightly smoke. Then we can add in the chicken. We're going to stir fry this for about four to five minutes just to get that golden color on it and just for it to be ever so slightly cooked through. This is going to leave a lot of flavor in the pan. So when we add everything else, it's going to lift all of that flavor and really combine well together. Once you do have this done, we can then transfer the chicken to a bowl. We're going to place the pan back over a high heat. Now it's up to you if you want to add a little bit more oil. I ended up adding one tablespoon more of peanut oil. Get that nice and hot. Then we can add in those brown onions or yellow onions as well as the red bell pepper or capsicum. We're going to stir fry this for about four to five minutes just to pick up that flavor left behind from the chicken to get a little bit of color on all of those vegetables and to soften up that capsicum or bell pepper. Next to go in is the tender stem broccoli or broccolini as it's pronounced in Australia. This can then be stir fried for another four minutes just to get a little bit of crunch on there. It's not going to be fully cooked through and it is supposed to be a little bit crunchy, but if you want it cooked more, you can cook that first before you add the onions and the bell peppers. At this stage, we can add the chicken back in along with any of the resting juices, as well as the white stem of that spring onion or scallion, those nine inch pieces apparently. <laughs> and then we're also going to add in the sauce. Just mix this all together. We're only going to heat that sauce now just to allow it to thicken from that cornstarch or corn flour like I was explaining before. Cook this for roughly two minutes. It will thicken up really nicely. Add in the chilies, which are optional. Mix them through, then remove it from the stovetop. Now going back to the rice, we can then turn this off the heat, but leave the lid on for a final four minutes. Before removing the lid, just be careful of any escaping steam. And then just fluff this up with a fork or a spatula just to loosen it up. You get those individual grains, and this rice is perfectly cooked. This can then be served up in bowls, and this recipe should get about four portions. I ended up making quite big portions here and only ended up serving two people, but definitely make it a little bit smaller than what I did, because it is quite filling. And I like to serve the rice on one side and the stir fry on the other, but you can definitely mix it all together. It's completely up to you. And then garnish it with some toasted or untoasted sesame seeds, the green stem spring onion or scallion that we cut up before. And if you have any leftover chilies, which are optional, just add them over the top for a little bit extra garnish. And what we're left with is this quick and easy chicken stir fry that should only take about 30 minutes. Of course, with everything said and done though, there is only one thing left to do, and that is we can then dig in.